you see? Did you see? The first candle is lit. Ah, it started. Ooh, Advent. Yep, Advent is upon us. Ooh, I get to open the first window on my Advent calendar. Mmm, mm, mm, delicious Advent. When do I get to have another? Tomorrow. When do we light another candle? Next week. Christmas pageant? Two weeks. When do we decorate? Later. When do we open presents? In about four weeks. Four weeks? That's like almost a month. Like I always say, the big flaw with Advent is that it takes so long. Advent is so slow. What if it wasn't? Are we talking about time travel? Because my mom says I shouldn't hang out with kids who are messing with time travel. I'm supposed to just say no thank you and come home. No, I mean, what if we did all of our favorite Advent activities right now? Yes! Wait, can we do that? No more thinking. Let's do it! Yeah! yeah! If that's okay, Jesus. Oh, oh, okay. Angels, we have heard on high. Next. Oh, come on. Something. All set, Victor! Okay, everyone, places! Places for the pageant! Now pose and line! Behold, I bring and you... And good enough! Oh. 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 Everyone okay? <sighs> yeah. What's next? That was it. We fit all four weeks of heaven into a single afternoon. Yay! Yay. So does that mean Advent is over? Yep. Well, that's a let down. Now what are we going to do until Christmas? Your text says you have a question for me, Ruby? Oh, good, you got it. I wanted to know if you wanted my old phone case. I won't need it after I get my new one for Christmas. Wait, how do you know you're getting a new cell phone case for Christmas? Because I asked for it, duh. You asked for a phone case? It's not just a phone case, Gabe. It's a pampered in pink protective personalized cover carry-all and personal mobility system. It has a jewel encrusted exterior, carrying strap, earbuds, solar panels, a built-in clarinet, Swiss army knife, and a universal remote control. Of course it glows in the dark and it's waterproof up to 300 meters. The case itself is indestructible and includes a state-of-the-art laser guided security system. It also folds out into an electric scooter and it has a thermonuclear power backup battery in case of emergencies. It's basically like having a robot friend, but even better. Mommy, I was just telling my friends that... What? But that would be over Christmas. How will we bring all of my presents? Uh, that's not funny. Well, uh, you can't be serious. But, uh, but, uh, this is totally not fair. Let me guess. Good news? This January, my family was gonna travel out of the country to build homes for the Houses for Humans project. Oh, awesome! Those are the people who build humans for houses. Houses for humans? They do both? 
but my mom said a spot opened up early. So now I'll be spending Christmas a million miles away in another country helping people. And to top it all off, we're not doing gifts this year. Whoa. Really? Without my phone case, what am I supposed to look forward to all through Advent? Well, it's not really about anticipating presents. Yeah. Isn't Advent about anticipating the birth of Jesus? What in the world are you talking about? Everything we do for Advent is to remind us to keep our focus on Jesus. The music, the candles, the decorations. Well, I do love the decorating. When are we doing that? We already did. Yeah, you talked through most of it. All set. In three, two, one. Ooh! Wow. It's really pretty. It's kind of weird that they had us kids do all of this by ourselves. Just another mystery of the Advent season. All right, Ada, Clara, two minutes before you're both on. I can't do it. Let me guess. Because of your terrible stage fright? I was supposed to play Mary. How can I play Mary, Mother of Jesus, when I've done such rotten things in my life? Clara, it's okay. You just have to repent. Like Pastor Donna said in her sermon today, that helps prepare our hearts for Jesus. But that's what I've been doing all day. But I don't think repenting is enough. Not for the things I've done. Clara, what could you have possibly done that is that bad? Things, Ada. Stuff and things. <laughs> <laughs> well? Well what? All you said was stuff and things, and then you stared off into space. Yeah. All right, girls, you're on. Be not afraid, Mary, for I have good news. You are to have a son. Mary? Mary, did you hear me? Good news! No, this isn't right! I shouldn't be here! I'm not worthy! How can I possibly be sorry enough for things like that? How could I ever repent enough for God to forgive me? Oh, this is a mess! Clara, we have to go out and finish the play. Monty is covering for us out there. Uh, so the barber says to the turnip, <laughs> that's not a moose. <laughs> How many of you are from out of town? We have to get back out there. But I can't play Mary, not when I'm swimming in an ocean of guilt. Guilt over what? Everything I'm repenting for. Clara, repenting doesn't mean sitting around feeling terrible about yourself. It, it doesn't? No, it means asking for God's forgiveness and to stop doing the things that you know are wrong. But what if I mess up again? Then God will forgive you again. Pastor Donna said God can forgive anything. What do you say? You ready to go back out there? Mary... Yeah, but you were right about something else too, Ada. Oh, what's that? I do have terrible stage fright. <sighs> Let's go, Clara. It'll be fine. Finally! Time for presents. We opened our presents last night. I can't wait to play with them! I can't wait to eat Christmas ham! My family continues the tradition of a Christmas goose roast. And this year, I've been promised an entire leg to myself. Wait a second. <gasps> the baby Jesus is gone! He was here before worship. Why would he leave? Uh, Jesus! <gasps> Can anyone help me rescue this confetti? It's trapped in plastic. Not now, Monty. The baby Jesus is God. But I'm not allowed to scissor. 
Baby Jesus probably left because all we've been talking about is getting presents. You think? If your birthday was coming up and all anybody did was talk about what they were getting for it, wouldn't you disappear? I'm too short to make these streamers stream. Monty, not now. Jesus has left us because of our rampant consumerism. Oh, okay. No, no, Jesus doesn't need to be the center of attention on his birthday. Then why did he leave? I don't pretend to know the mind of God, Ada. Oh, I peeked at my presents. I'm the reason Jesus left. <laughs> oh, Jax, I'm sure that's not the reason. Yeah, Jesus just probably went to the moon. The moon? I just want Jax to stop crying. It's really freaking me out. Does anyone have a laser to cut the cake? Monty, nobody has a cake-cutting laser. We're still trying to find Jesus. Wait a second. Here's your cake, Jesus. The whole piece. It's your day. Ooh, you need more birthday punch. I got you a present, Jesus. L want me to open it for you? <gasps> Mittens! For your hands. I hope you like them. Monty! Why would you take Jesus from the nativity? And on Christmas Day! Because it's a surprise party for Jesus' birthday! Wait, what? Christmas is Jesus' birthday! You set all this up? Yep! You wanna come to the party? Sure! Lovely people. You're in a good mood. Even more so than usual. And why wouldn't I be? It's such a magical time of year. The music, the lights, the babies. Babies? Are babies wonderful? I guess so. With the little cheeks and those chubby little wags and the teeny weeny noses. Ooh! I just want to eat them up. Yes, I do. Yes, I Somebody's do. Somebody's baby crazy. Even more so than usual. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm on nursery duty today for the first time. You volunteered for nursery duty? Yep. On purpose? Of course! I can't wait to take care of those little angels! What better way to celebrate Christmas than by surrounding myself with babies? I bet I'll feel just like Mary taking care of baby Jesus! Oop! I gotta go! Don't wanna be late! Don't worry, babies! I'm coming! Babies, babies! Babies. Hey, Mimi. B -b -b babies. Mimi? Mimi, you don't look so good. What happened? You want to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Babies. That's what happened. Uh, nursery duty not go so well? I've seen things, Gabe. Things you don't want to know about. Those babies. They're a nightmare. I thought they were little angels. You didn't see what was coming out of them. From both ends! The smell, the, the crying, the, the screaming, the constant screaming! Why would Jesus ever want to be a baby? Isn't that the whole point? The whole point of what? Of celebrating Christmas, that Jesus came into the world just like the rest of us, as a helpless little baby. But Jesus couldn't have been like those babies. He would have been some kind of holy, glowing, clean, quiet, amazing baby. Don't you think it's way more amazing that the Son of God would come as a regular baby? How can that be amazing? I don't know, but it is. Waiting for your parents? Yeah. Mind if I join you? Suit yourself. So, did you all have a good Christmas? 
Oh, yeah. We visited our grandma. <laughs> and boy, did Grandma spoil us. Cookies. And all kinds of presents. I can't wait to get home and play with them. If our parents would ever get done visiting. <sighs> Clara? Are you all right? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. It's just my family hasn't celebrated Christmas yet. <gasps> But it was three days ago. I know, but my dad's a smoke jumper. What's a smoke jumper? He parachutes out of planes to fight wildfires. He gets called away all the time. Right now, he's fighting a fire in California, and we can't start Christmas until he gets home. Your dad jumps out of airplanes and into fires. <laughs> that sounds awesome! How did I not know this? So you haven't celebrated Christmas at all? <laughs> Uh-uh. What about all your presents? They're still wrapped. Surely you've made cookies already, though. The cookies are made, but we're waiting to frost them. Poor Clara. Oh, you said it, Tot. I'm sorry, Clara. But you know, they say waiting sometimes makes good things better. Who says that? I don't know. People? But it's been three days! Three whole days! Do you know how long that is? It is a long time to wait. There's nothing as long as three days. Clara, plenty of people have had to wait for something for longer than three days. Name one. What about the prophet Anna in today's sermon? She was expecting a messiah to come and change everything. But she had to wait almost 100 years for Jesus to come. Can you imagine having to wait 100 years? If she had a penny for every year, she'd have a whole dollar. A hundred years! That's like 100,000 Sunday school sessions. 100 years is like 10 of my lifetimes. And 27 of tots. 27. Wow, 27 tots? That's a lot longer than I've had to wait. See, Clara, it's not that bad. Yeah, you can do it. I'm supposed to tell you that Mom and Dad will be ready to go in 15 minutes. Give or take. 15 minutes? Uh, we're never going to get out of here. Clara, our nativity diorama is almost done. Should we put more emergency exits in the stable? Or maybe a tornado shelter? I think it will be fine. Hello, Adeline. Clarabella. Do either of you have a pair of scissors that could... Oh. What's that you're making? It's the nativity. We made everyone who was there for Jesus' birth. Uh, yes, yes, I see. You have everyone who was there, but, um, uh, who are these little guys? Oh, those are the three kings who came to give Jesus gifts. Could you put them in the stables for us, please? Three kings? Three kings. Kings that came to visit Jesus on the day he was born? And there were three of them? Um, yeah, Victor. Could you put them in our nativity scene, please? No! No, I can't do it! I won't be part of these secrets and lies anymore! Victor, what are you talking about? The wise men didn't come to see Jesus on the night he was born. The Bible clearly says they showed up later, when he and his family were in a house. Uh, Victor? And it doesn't say anywhere how many of them there were. Maybe two, maybe twelve, who knows? Victor, if you could just put the kings down... And they weren't kings. They were wise men who studied the stars. That's how they saw the star that led them to Jesus. Ugh, I can't take any more of this. Our kings! I mean, our wise men! Oh, come on, you fraud. I'm getting you out of our nativity. You're not supposed to be here. Hold it right there, Victor. Step away from the wise man. Never. The fact that these three charlatans are here in this stable goes against everything Christmas is about. Not really, Victor. Gabe, were you just standing there watching me try to fix the nativity? Is that what you were trying to do? Yeah, Victor thinks that the wise men weren't there when Jesus was born. <laughs> they probably weren't, which makes sense because they were traveling from somewhere far away, like Persia. There, you see? Gabe agrees with me. They have no business being here. 
Well, I wouldn't say that. The important thing is that Jesus' birth was a special gift to everyone. Oh, yeah. The wise men must have wanted to travel all that way with gifts for Jesus because they knew how important he was. Well, then. In the interest of authenticity, we should build a second scene where toddler Jesus is in a house and the wise men come to visit. We'll need blueprints, a forklift, lumber, power tools, paint, kitchenware. Uh, what are you doing, Gabe? I'm putting the wise men over to the side. That way we know that they're on their way to see baby Jesus. Does that work for you, Victor? Well, uh, yes. Obviously, that's perfect. What about our wise men miniatures? I'm sorry, Clarabella. I was obliged to mail them to the local space observatory. You know, where they belong. <sighs> Camilla, what you working on? Oh, hello, Mimi. I'm trying to think of a good present for my new brother's first Christmas. Wait, your family has a new baby? Why didn't you tell me? Mimi, you are a good friend, but sometimes the listening you do is not as good. Mimi, I am so excited. Me too. I'm going to be a big sister. I know. I love ponies too. So, what's your brother's name? Magnus. Oh, cute. So, what are you going to get, little Magnus? That is the difficult part. He is difficult to please. Nah. I just do not know what he would like for Christmas. Whenever I'm trying to think of what a baby needs, I always think about baby Jesus. Really? Sure. <gasps> you should get Magnus the gifts the wise men brought baby Jesus. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I do not think those gifts would actually be good for my brother. Mm, yeah. They do seem like strange gifts for a baby. Yes, well, those gifts were things that you would give a king. They brought them to Jesus because he was to be the king of kings. Cool! But why didn't they wait until he grew up instead of visiting him at the stable? The wise men did not actually go to the stable where Jesus was born. They visited him at his house when he was older. Really? Well, I mean, that makes sense. They couldn't leave right away since they had kingdoms to run. Oh, the wise men were not kings. They were likely Persian priests who found wisdom in the stars. Kind of like astronomers. Oh. Well, a totally unexpected visit from three astronomers would still be pretty exciting. Actually, there were not necessarily three wise men. There could have been more. Or less. We do not know for sure. So everything I thought I knew about the wise men is wrong? Why did we start talking about this? I am trying to think of a Christmas gift idea for my brother, and I still do not have one. Auzi, fetito. Am auzi problema respectiva și m-am gândit și eu de o soluție. Oh, hi, Mr. Stinescu. You say you overheard us talking about needing a Christmas gift for Jamila's baby brother, and you think you have a solution? Uite, spune să-i dea frățiorului ei. Wow, Mr. Stinescu, those are so cute! Mimi, what is he saying? Mr. Stinescu says he found these adorable booties that you can give to your little brother. Me, n-am găsit. Am făcut. You made these, Mr. Stinescu? That's amazing! I do not know what to say. They are perfect. Um, how to say uh, thank you? Moltsumesk. Moltsumesk. Um, I do not understand. Is he angry at me? Oh, no. He is overjoyed! Da. Well, that was nice of him. And totally unexpected. Mimi, you speak his language? Sure. And the language of birds. Oh, and English. Thank you. 